but they'll get in trouble. But it's all on just me firmly asserting myself <laughs> louder and louder. Um, it's just not an argument. Uh, so, um, you know, the question remains, you know, are they real? I, like from the beginning I said, I don't know. I don't have all the answers. I don't pretend to have all the answers. I have no particular, as I said, I have no particular qualifications <laughs> to even evaluate this besides saying, I'm a guy that wants to know. And if you want to convince me, you better not tell me to do a, do a goddamn Freedom of Information Act, and that's going to be your basis of your, <laughs> your convincing me. How dare you that's not going to seek evidence. That's not going to, so that's not evidence. What was the test you were talking about? You could do the light I just want to know if he's an atheist, because... What's that? What was the test you Oh, spectroscopic analysis. Nobody's done that? Yes. Well, no, so because yes, that, no. GCM, yes, yes. Well, then, then publish it. Uh, and that's exactly how you analyze your sample. No, it's never been done before. Oh, it's been done all over the world, and if you do your research, they're published on multiple websites. Oh, sure. Bye. Somebody Google it, it. Yeah. Yeah. right now. Spectroscopic analysis of chemtrails. What, show what show it to you, me. What do you think? You, how show do you me. analyze metals? Show me. I showed you. I no, of chemtrails, not metals, of chemtrails. From the rain. No. How, I just told you that. Light. Are you an atheist? Okay. No, let me just. I, I'm, I'm serious. Okay. Are you an atheist? Let me just back up. Spectroscopic analysis is measuring the spectrum. It's not I measuring rain. What it is. It's measuring light you that can passes do liquids. through. <laughs> it's passing through what I say is a contrail. You suspect is a chemtrail. Uh, it's that's that's the experiment that will would definitively prove it. But it's but yet it could be peer reviewed. It could be repeated. It could be done over and over again, and they'll never do it, like do regardless closing. of how simple it is, because it's that's applying the scientific method, which is not allowed here. So it's are, are only wild atheist? assertions. I don't mean to be personal. Are you an atheist? Uh, I don't see any needs need to discuss that. Because I my this is my argument all the time, and it's not to be offensive. People that believe in God or the Bible, please show me your evidence. I want peer-reviewed studies. And don't just tell me it's the Bible, because that could have been manipulated by man. And it is relevant, because it is about what you have studied, how has it affected your life, right? Well, I know so, the Bible's true, because I saw the G. Ever documentary well, on Noah's Ark. you know, I'm agnostic. I'll put it out there. So I don't put myself in any faith. But my point is, you saying I don't have evidence is uh, based on what is here right now, an impromptu debate with a beer in my hand. Or anything you're willing to link I, to, talk about, would describe, like to reference, say, point to... Okay, I thought it was anything. doing my closing. What I would like to say is that it is good that people like you and I can talk because we actually have a lot in common about the TSA and other government atrocities that we are pretty much against, right? We are. I don't know if you know that, but I've learned that through some mutual friends. We have a lot that we both agree on. But... The whole point of this debate is to talk about whether or not geoengineering involves spraying of chemtrails and if they exist. And where does the burden of proof lie? Because I do not see your evidence to say that my story is false. I don't see your evidence that says that I don't have a court case. I don't see your evidence that says I have not done the sampling. And I have not seen any of your evidence to say that I'm lying. Or what I'm saying is not true. And that the government isn't doing weather modification involving the It's over here with my evidence that leprechauns, leprechauns aren't okay. real. Okay, so that's, you're we're asserting a, we're that. We're doing a talk on chemtrails on Saturday morning for anybody that's interested. I, and I'm happy to share my views. Cool. I'm the one that's presenting that talk. <laughs> okay. I'm, sharing my operational experience of 22 years or so in the airline industry so if you're interested in hearing how what time is that and where at 11 15 on saturday so if you're interested in hearing how airlines actually operate how airliners actually work what happens coming out of the rear end of a jet engine and so on and so forth you be happy jet to turbine and uh, you know anything about jet turbines? i know a little bit about them i fly the 747-8 you know 400. how the jet engine works and how the combustion rate works sure well we're like about to wrap this up here like if you like me to explain it to you i'm happy okay. i'm a professional yeah I can let's uh, i can tell you how your shit works from you guys could talk well, uh, about that's for a different time something right here because i was doing my closing real quick i just want to share that if you're interested in the i do hear a lot of the arguments and forums that um people say well i'm a pilot and i know that's not happening well, I could say that I am a dentist and I know this. You don't, just because you do something does not mean that you know every aspect of it. How many people are carrying CIA planes or carrying drugs underneath them and don't know it? Just because you fly something doesn't mean you know every little nook and cranny and every screw and every panel and every name of every component of an aircraft. I drive a car and I could change my oil, but I can't tell you half the shit under the hood. So I hear the pile argument, but my whole point in closing is I'm glad we could have this discussion because regardless of what anyone watching this video, supportive or non-supportive, I 
am giving you an honest testimony. I have nothing to gain from this. You have to ask yourself, why do people spend so much time trying to belittle me, to degrade me, and to demonize me? Am I making money off this? Has anyone here paid me to talk about this? No. I might tip you a quarter if it's so good. <laughs> oh, I did, actually, I did get free cupcake from Gigi. But my point is, testimony is a lot. My evidence is a lot. I don't have it with me. And that's why people are in constant contact with me every day on my email. So do your own research. Why do I tell you that? It's not because I'm holding mine. It's because your evidence for some people is only as good as the testing that you have done. And that's why I ask people to contact me and I will tell you how to do it correctly. Where can people contact you? Your, each of your names um, on a website? Yeah, yeah. My website is uh, sugarfreesanity.com. It should be up in the next 15 days because I had to take it off. But you can get me at kristenmegan at gmail.com. If you hit uh, jamesbab.com, it'll hit you over to my Facebook page. So, yeah. All right. Drop in. Call me. I'm Sam Crazy. I'm too skeptical. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks. Can we get a, a round of applause from yeah, uh, people who... One, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Post-clothing. And you can do a post-post-clothing if you like. Um, she says, why hasn't he shown his evidence? I, she didn't have to show her evidence, so why sh shouldn't I have to show evidence? Well, she's made the positive assertion. Uh, she's made a she's made a claim. The burden of logic is on the person making a claim to present the evidence. Make saying, "Well, you don't have evidence. I'm I'm not true." Is not a legitimate argument. So I just wanted to address that. Thank you, Kristen, for standing here and asserting things. Um, uh, you know, taking the time to do that for people. Um, and and if, if maybe in the future, when you feel like you want to show people it's not about, anything it's not about, about backing feeling. up what you're saying, and I, I hope feeling. it all comes forward. You know the secret evidence you have. We're it's all dying secret. to know it. Um, no, maybe you'll maybe you'll share it. it. My 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 evidence is not secret. It's been public before. I was I was told by legal counsel for right now to lay low, which is why you have not seen me do a lot of media for lately. Because you know what? You look at Manning and you look at Snowden, and you know what I've learned from that. As much as I hate the system, I'm using this system to do this correctly because I have a 10 year old child. So if you would like to tell everyone that I assert things, you know what? You're a father. If you're ever in my position to expose something that could get you killed or thrown in a cage or have makes you seek asylum in Russia, that's fine. But the reason that I do things th through the legal route, which I learned, is because I have a child. <laughs> Thank you everybody for coming. And remember, this is brought to you by Gigi Bowman's Bakery. <laughs> <laughs> GMO free, gluten free. Yes, that's St. Gigi. That's Gigi Bowman. <laughs> Running for Senate. Anyway, James, handshake. All right, thank Thanks you. Thanks for the debate. All right. All right. No, I'm going under the... Um, who won? Who's next? You decide.